So welcome back, Agent Fitz here. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick update on my ThinkPads, and I'm actually gonna begin with this particular model. This is my uh, X1 Extreme. If you follow my channel, you know I've actually had this uh, from when they first came out, and I've done a few things to it to upgrade it. Um, but in all actuality, I actually have it started up on this screen because as you can read, I'm still receiving the same single fan error press the escape key to boot. Um, at this point, can't really seem to get it to like go away. And if you were to turn this over, you would also notice that, um, if you could see the dust on there, one of these fans is actually running and the other one isn't. So the error of course is valid, but you know, I've changed the fan unit a couple of times, um, done some other things, can't really seem to sort it. Uh, now, I can still use the laptop, so like for instance, if I hit escape here, then what ends up happening is it will eventually go to the, uh, the Windows screen. And speaking of Windows, it actually is running Windows 11. I was having the same problem with 10, and of course now I'm still having the same issue. Um, I think that when it comes down to this particular model, more than likely I don't really see you know spending any more time trying to, uh, to to sort it, because I really feel like I've spent more than enough. Sorry, I'm right by this window, so I'm gonna bump this down just a little bit. Needless to say, um, I use it, it's not really my daily driver as much as the other thing pad I'm gonna show you, and the main reason is because be, since it only has one fan operating, it actually gets extremely hot, especially on the bottom, I have to use like a lap desk, but on the uh, the key the keyboard it actually can get kind of hot the other problem that it actually has is when it does updates when it needs to restart on its own it actually will get hung and you'll a lot of times you just get a black screen you'll wake up with one of the lights on and it's just running it, it's really weird because it's doing an update so it shouldn't be working too hard however it is um it seems like the processor is working a lot harder than it should. So there's been times where I woke up and I mean, it was like scalding hot, uh, which concerns me. And the main reason why it concerns me is because uh, during one of my trips, I actually had it in my laptop bag in my uh, overhead storage at the seat I was sitting and it did that. So when I went to grab my laptop bag down, I noticed it was really, really hot inside the laptop bag. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, so needless to say, don't want to try to like cause a, a fire or anything on an aircraft because of this darn thing. So what I'm actually going to end up doing is not travel with it from now on. Uh, make it a point to just shut it down whenever I'm using it. Just because, once again, I don't want it to overheat. And then, you know, the other thing is I just, I'm not using it as much as I'm using my other computers. Speaking of which, I'll work my way around here. This is primarily a ThinkPad video. I will show you, however, kind of the setup that I have right now. Um, if you've seen my videos, you'll know that I do have the G18 Strix, which is plugged in. I've just got a monitor there. This is kind of my gaming setup right now. Uh, this and as well as the Xbox downstairs. But today's video is really not about the Strix. Moving over to my next video or my next um, ThinkPad which is gonna be this bad boy. Let me get set up really quick here. I'm gonna lower the camera a tad, and then that way, okay, get a better look of it. All right, and then let me see. I'm gonna probably bump this down just a little bit. Oh, no, down. Okay, and then I'll go in just a little bit closer. Okay, so this is my 430. Um, actually with the 430, you know what, I'm gonna see if I can turn this off. Uh, no, that actually did not work. Um, I'm trying not to use the light because right now I'm reconditioning my battery, uh, just to see if I can get more battery life out of this battery. This battery that I currently have, I bought it last year and I can't really seem to get the original life that I got out of the battery to begin with. Now, the first update I have for this particular laptop, I guess, would have been the battery, but the other really major update is I migrated from um, Windows 10 to Windows 11. And yes, when I went to upgrade it, the Microsoft prompts basically said the system 
uh, was not compatible with Windows 11 for a few reasons. And I, what I ended up doing is I used this um, program, this file that was created. I believe it's called iFixit. I'll put it in the links. And basically, it allows you to kind of disregard those warnings, and then you can still load uh, Windows 11 on laptops that supposedly aren't, port, aren't uh, supported. Now, the thing with that is it does its own checks just to make sure you have the, the bare minimum in order for this to actually work, and then it'll put 11 on it. And then right now you can see I'm running ThinkPad or uh, Lenovo Vantage, which used to be Think Vantage, which is actually what was on the 430. So I had to actually load Lenovo Vantage to the laptop. And like I said, I'm reconditioning the battery just to see if I can reset the, ba the battery gauge, maybe get a more accurate reading on what the battery life is. Um, going back to the Windows 11, really didn't take a whole heck of a lot of time. Um, if you do decide to run it, bunch of videos on YouTube about like how to uh, add Windows 11 to a system that actually is supposedly uh, there the actual Windows app is saying it's not compatible and you can't so I was kind of torn between really doing that or just rolling over to the Linux and I was leaning more towards Linux but I really don't mind Windows that much uh, especially for the stuff that I do now I'm pretty much retired so I don't necessarily need certain things. So as far as like the daily driver stuff that I'm really, I was using the X1 uh, Extreme for, I'm now using this laptop for. Uh, everything else actually works fine on this laptop. Um, I haven't had any issues. I think the only thing that really kind of bugs me is the bezel still kind of like sticks. I don't know, it's not really sitting as flush as it should since I changed the screen. Um, actually, no, that didn't happen when I changed the screen. I think that's when I was, uh, well, maybe it was. Yeah, it was when I upgraded the screen. But it's no big deal. And you really can't even tell if I didn't even point it out. Uh, I had considered going back to the T420 keyboard, but I changed my mind on that only because I like the backlit keyboard that's on this laptop. Uh, once again, I'm not going to start it up because I'm trying to get my gauge and everything uh, squared away. So this laptop's been fine. As far as my... Any updates to this laptop, what I will probably end up doing at some point is adding more memory. I have about a gig on here now, and I would like, not a gig, wow, I have a terabyte, So, and I've used about half of that. So I would like to have two terabytes. So there's an express port adapter I can buy, and then I think you can use an NSATA uh, disk drive, and I can actually double the capacity since this should be able to support two terabytes. So... That would probably be about it for this laptop. But what I will say is as a daily driver, it functions fine. Um, I can actually keep this one in my lap. It doesn't really get that hot. Uh, I'm not gaming on it, although I have gamed on it before a long time ago. Uh, I'm not really editing anything on it. But yeah, I mean, I haven't developed any new creaks. I haven't, I don't have any um, cracks. You know, some of my other think pads I've had where the, the edges have broken off. But none of that. I mean, this thing is still in really, really good condition. Matter of fact, I'll take this off and show you so you can kind of see for yourself. Uh, let me make it a little bit lighter. All right. So, yeah, you can see um, one of the things that I did do is it has this, like, grip surface that's actually on the trackpad. I actually don't use the trackpad, but that stuff started, like, kind of coming off, so I just removed all of it. And it looks glossy, but I think it looks a lot better than what it was when the stuff was flaking off. So, other than that, that's about it. Um, if you got any questions about either this laptop, the T430, with the upgrades that I've already done, you can actually look at the uh, previous videos that I've made. But any uh, new questions about the Windows 11 install, feel free to ask them in the comments. Or, if you have any questions about... I'm going to go back over to the other side... Okay, and this guy powered down the X1 Extreme. Once again, leave them in the comments. Uh, click like, subscribe, and Agent Fit signing out.